and welcome back to Speed Freak Garage, home of Power Sports on YouTube. So we are going to be stripping off all the plastic trim, including the front and rear bumpers, and then painting them with truck bed liner, also known as Rhino liner. We're just gonna use like an off-brand Dupla color paint. Uh, okay, so after talking to a couple different people, I changed my mind. We're just gonna mask the car off and paint everything right here on the car. So it probably will be a little quicker. Job won't be as clean, but it's, you know, cheap car. So what we did, we got prep cleaner, adhesion promoter, and truck bed coating, all from Dupla Color, because that's just what O'Reilly's had. Two cans of the prep, two cans of adhesion promoter, eight cans of truck bed, because you don't want to run out in the middle of the job. I got some tape and drape, some paper and the widest blue tape they had. So the first thing we're gonna do is automotive prep. Well, also we're getting the temperature raised up as quick as we can to 70 for a nice painting temperature. So sorry for the background noise, but anyway. So we're gonna prep all the plastic, especially this front. The front's got like, I think it's oil, which is not good. So we're gonna prep all the plastic surfaces then we're going to tape them off and then we're going to start spraying and hopefully i have a mask around here somewhere or i can just wrap a shirt around my face <laughs> anyway we'll be back once we uh prep it okay so we got a nice thick foam coating of prep spray and it says to wipe it all down while it's still wet so we're going to go ahead and start scrubbing with a blue shop towel which is lint free so let's get scrubbing and it already looks better. You can see most of those oil spots were removed. So there's spots there, but not here. There's some odd staining. I think we're just out. Oh, there goes the heater again. <laughs> I think we're just going to have to paint over it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and clean up the rest of all the side trim, the back trim. Oh, I got to take the spare tire off um, and then I'll get to masking. Okay, so now we got the back all cleaned up and everything is... Uh, wax and grease removed up and ready to uh, mask. However, it would be a big mistake to start masking right now because there are still some spots where that solvent is kind of hiding that you can't really get to and you just gotta let it dry. So I'm gonna take like a late lunch slash dinner break and let everything dry up and then we will come back and get everything masked up. Okay, uh, again, sorry for the noise, but the heater's trying to keep up. So the first thing you wanna do is fill in any spots that the tape and drape isn't gonna work. In this case, I filled in between the two trim pieces I'm gonna paint. And then you also wanna cover anything that you don't want painted. So threads, lights, uh, th uh, threads again. Um, now you're probably thinking, how am I gonna get a decent cutout of this light? So what I did is I just kind of poked it in here with my nail and got it nice and flat. Now I have this plastic razor blade and I'm just gonna take this plastic scraper blade or whatever and just go along and like kind of push it in and then it'll cut out this extra. But I'm not gonna do that with one hand, of course. So we'll be back in a sec. And there we go, that actually did a pretty good job. You can see there's a little piece in there that I need to tuck. Well, I can't really get to it, but I can at least kind of get it down out of the way. So that looks pretty good for, again, a very cheap uh, Rhino Liner job on a very cheap vehicle. Okay, so the next step is to go and border everything. So all around your surfaces, you want to create a nice thick border. So when you go back with the tape and drape, if for some reason the tape and drape isn't stuck great, or if you make a small mistake with it, it's not going to be the end of the world. Um, and also, that's also what this paper is for. So we would probably just tape and drape right along this line and then come back with the paper and fill this in because that's a lot of tape to waste. Um, so we're just going to go, you know, around, over, up, all the way. And the only reason, I'm not done, but I'm showing you now because uh, the heater finally shut off for a few seconds. So we'll be back. All right, so I wanted to give you guys a close-up of all the tape work I did. 
um, kind of showing you how I built my border. Um, you can see not much cuts in the tape for low angles, but high angles you need smaller pieces of tape. I filled in this gap here that wasn't too bad. Come down here, come around. So I'm trying to make a nice, decent tape line for the tape and drape. I filled in this hole behind the license plate. Probably not necessary, but I did it anyway. Um, filled all this in, that. I left that open because I'm not going to be like spraying upward because that would get it all over the car. Um, around, you can see a ton of little pieces in here to get these sharp corners. I'll just try to give you a close up of how I did this. Just around. And again, this isn't a award winning paint job. This is a very cheap and worn out vehicle paint job. So you can see a bunch of little patches coming around and then back. Alright, so now we're going to get started on the tape and drape. So the tape and drape was a lot easier to work with than I had expected. Um, so I, I just kind of laid it out. I tried to follow the line as best I could without messing it up too bad. And then now I just have to stick it down, make sure it's stuck down good, and then pull the sheet out and then tape the sheet up onto the hood of the car. All right, and that did a pretty good job. And you can see I just got a few pieces of tape to hold it. Now, under normal circumstances, I would cover all the glass as a precaution. However, the windshield's getting replaced soon because it's uh, really messed up. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and the other glass, actually, I can just clean up with a razor blade because it's all flat glass if I really have to. So I'm not going to cover the glass. I think I've done enough work already. I've been out here for hours and we still got a lot of work to do. So I'll catch up with you guys once the whole vehicle is covered up. Okay, so we uh, got rescued by Chris here, our rescued. big turbo E36 drift missile. Um, so he's helping me finish up all the uh, taping. We're getting close. Uh, so thank God he's here because I had no clue how I was going to be shaking these paint cans and spraying them at the same time because you really can't stop once you start. So we're going to finish up the wheels and then I'll give you guys a nice detailed walk around of how we taped all this off. And we'll be back. All right, we're gonna do a quick walk around of our tape and drape, just to kind of give you guys an idea of what we did. And also, if you have corners where you have a seam, make sure you get it nice and tight and get a good overlap so you don't get any overspray up through there because it's too late by the time you notice. So we got lucky and it actually covered all the windows, taped it up on the antenna, you can see we got a pretty decent line. Again, you got to cover your seams. Uh, getting a new windshield, so not worried about that. Put the brown paper on the grill, which will get painted separately. Uh, overall, I think we're good. All the tires are covered. So we are going to get started. So the instructions kind of suck. So you want a light coat two to three coats of this, and then you only have 10 minutes to apply that. So Ponder and I are gonna work together. He's gonna be shaking them up for me because he's got some <laughs> got some fancy clothes on today, so he's probably gonna step back while I'm getting dirty. So, uh, But because of how difficult it's going to be to meet the 10 minute timing on this, you're not gonna get any video except maybe some time-lapse video from that guy. But I don't know. So we'll see. Anyway, stay tuned. We'll be back in a sec. All right. So we have five minutes left on our first coat. So basically once we got the uh, adhesion promoter down, this stuff has a 20 minute recoat time and it is rough. Like if you're too close, it sucks. If you're too far, it sucks. If you're not pressing hard enough, it sucks. If you don't shake enough, it sucks. But uh, maybe it would have been smart to do like a test piece like just some random thing in the shop, you know, but we're getting there Anything's better than you know white. So 
Ponder's in, enjoying enjoying the waiting. Not sponsored by Red Bull. Not sponsored by Red Bull. Not sponsored. Not sponsored. It's looking good though. It's getting there. Yeah. He says it's looking good and getting there. Mm -hmm. I'm just repeating because the air conditioner fucks up the audio. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. So we'll come back when we're done and uh, we talk to Brandon. Brandon said. Wait until it skins over and you can just barely touch it and then to start peeling off the tape so that it doesn't get hard because the if you let it dry overnight and then come back and peel your tape off, it's gonna rip all the paint off with the tape. I've done that before, so we'll be back. Okay, we finished the second coat and it came out a lot better. A lot better, just looks great. Yeah, way better. So quick walk around before the heater turns back on. So we've been trying to get under and around and the lift's kind of in the way but it just looks so much better with the second coat and getting that coated up nice you can see the metal really takes a good texture so one more coat and then we're gonna wait about an hour and then come back and peel everything off again you have to peel it off while it's still not fully dried or it's gonna rip it all off with it so we'll be back for the third coat Okay, so we just, just finished the third coat. It looks amazing. So anything that you can pull off carefully without touching the paint that's captured like that, you might as well pull it out right away. But then we're gonna go get dinner. And then after dinner, then we're gonna peel all the masking tape off because you, like I said, don't let it dry. <laughs> so anyway, we'll be back once all the masking tape is peeled off and we've got a finished product. So we haven't even really made it. Whoop. We haven't even really made it that far into um, getting all this wrapping off and we're already just night and day difference, night and day. But I figured you guys would like this really satisfying. Yeah, so satisfying. Here's another super satisfying one for you guys. Oh, I messed it up. Oh, almost. All right, and we're back about 12 hours later because I forgot to film the end video, but you can see it looks amazing. Best paint job I've ever done, personally. Um, I need to get the grill, so I need to paint this somehow, but not this, or just black it all out with like a smoke paint. Anyway, so you can see everything came out pretty nice. Um, there's kind of a weird spot there. I'm afraid to touch it, but I think it's just maybe I overdid it a little bit. Um, the fenders came out really good for how hard they were. And you can see some small imperfections, but again, this is a $3,000 vehicle. <laughs> so this is going to do the job. The back came out really nice. At least in the shadows, it came out nice. So look at that. All nice and even and uniform. The metal came out nice for the spare tire holder so it doesn't rust. I got all the tape pulled out of the license plate hole. Got the foam, the foam's not painted, so the license plate shouldn't rattle because that drives me nuts. Um, the uh, mud flaps are rhino lined now. Tires stayed clean thanks to Chris wrapping the reels, wheels really well. Now you can kind of see there, see that little imperfection in the pattern. Um, I don't know if that's gonna dry out or if it's just, oh, piece of tape. Forgot, piece of tape. Yeah. That's gonna be, well I can just open the door, derp. No, I can't just open the door. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Ah. Ew. The interior, the interior on this thing needs some work. But yeah, that's, that's, that's it. It came out great. So much better than that faded white plastic. So anyway, yeah, that's a great angle right there actually got new headlights on order but anyway up oh, there goes the heater thanks heater thanks for ruining the video that I waited like 10 minutes for the heater to turn off so I could film the video anyway thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time
I'm gonna try.